Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl AP and I'm back with another tutorial. I'm excited about this tutorial for two reasons. It's not sublimation related like a lot of my videos and I know for a fact this craft is going to be like amazing for a lot of you crafters out there. It's going to put some money in your pockets, especially for the holidays coming up, okay? So today I'm going to teach you how to make your own customized name bangle, okay? Um, I'm going to be using a baby bangle, so I'm just going over supplies right now. A baby bangle, look how cute. Oh, so we, I got, you can get these bangles, beauty supply store, for like anywhere between three to five dollars. I pay for bangles. Sometimes you could get them, the, I know the baby ones are cheaper. The adult size bangles, which is the same method, is um, maybe sometimes you get them four for 20. Three for 20, it all varies where you go and where you live, okay? Um, you're gonna need your Cricut Explore Air um, or some kind of cutting machine. I have a Cricut Explore Air. You're gonna need a laptop. I'm gonna be using des design space for my platform today. You're gonna need some epoxy resin. Um, this is, the, I mean, not epoxy resin, UV resin, the hard type. This is the type that I use. I get it from Amazon. It says UV resin, hard type. Okay, you're gonna need um, a UV lamp. I also got this from Amazon. Just something that typically girls use it to dry their nails or gonna use it for crafting today. You're gonna need um, scissors just because it's always good to have scissors around. You're gonna need your, ooh, sorry, scratch myself. You're gonna need your um, weeding tool. You're gonna need some kind of clips. I got these clips like four in a pack for a dollar from the Dollar Tree. And I'll tell you why you're gonna need these later a glue stick and some e6000 glue okay and also you're going to need some type of cardstock or foil these are the two colors that i'm using on the bangle today so i have a gold foil and a glitter a pink glitter cardstock and i got these probably michaels okay yeah nine times out of ten i got them from michaels okay so let's get started in this video um i totally forgot to mention that even before you get to the, the design space step, you're gonna need um, an app called Fonto, okay? I'll, I'll do another video on um, about how you access Fonto. I can't access, you cannot access it on a desktop. You have to use your cell phone and download the Fonto app, P-H-O-N-T-O, -O, okay? Search it in your, um, your app store, your Google Play store, and it should pop right up. That's the app that I use to um, create the names um, that I use for my nameplate jewelry. And that's a whole nother video. I'm, I'm so sorry I didn't think about that prior to this video. Maybe you should do the Fonto video first, but that video will follow up, okay? If you've watched this video, you'll pretty much get, well, you will def, not pretty much, you'll definitely get the idea how to make your own customized jewelry, okay? Here we go, let's get started. So. I'm already in design place and I'm just gonna, I have so many images already uploaded and so many name plates already uploaded. So I'm just going to scroll down and go to one of the name plates I created, which all these images, y'all see all these images, it's ridiculous. Oh, so here we go. Here go some name plates that I can use. Um, let me see, I'm looking for, let me see. If I just, I'm just looking for one for an example. So we're gonna use Anna, Anna um, name. And like I said, I created these um, names in Fonto. Okay, the Fonto app. And how I created it, you'll see. Um, not right now, but let me change the color so you can see it. Um, okay, here we go. So right now it says Anna and we wanna get it to, it says cut and print on the side here. We don't want it to be a cut and print. We just want it to be a cut. So before we even go that, go to fill at the top, drop down and click no fill. So it's gonna turn gray, which is much better to even look at. And I'll, zoom, I'll even zoom in a little more so it's better for the camera, okay? So we want it to be um, gray, we want it to just be a cut image, not a cut and print. So how we did that, we just went into fill and put no fill. All right, now I'm just gonna get it down to the size um, of the bangle. Where did I put my little cute bangle? There you go. I just had it. All right, I'm gonna get it down to the size of the bangle. Oh, I was sitting the laptop on it, I'm sorry. So the bangle is pretty small. So for smaller projects like bangles and 
um, earrings um, when I do my plates. I make the baby bangles about almost an inch, so 0 0.938. And I make the length about 1.8. Okay, and I'm going to even make the, let's take it down to 0 0.883. So for my width, it's 0 0.883. And for my length, which I already think is kind of too long, is 1.8. So that's the sizes I'm working with for my baby bangle, okay? And you see how tiny it is. It's like super tiny, okay? This is like newborn size or a couple of months, okay? So tiny. All right. So once I got the size that I want, I think I'm going to make it, make it a little smaller. Yeah, okay. Once I got the size that I want, now this is where it gets tricky. Please watch, please pay attention. Highlight the name by clicking it. Go over here and you're gonna hit duplicate. Drag that image right alongside of it. Make sure it's highlighted. And then what you wanna do, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, <laughs> it's contour. So it's highlighted, go down here. At the bottom you have choices, you have Slice, weld, attach, flatten, and contour. You will just want to contour the image, and then you'll see this pop up. So we want to hide contour. So I'm going to hide the whole name, okay? Because now we're creating our shadow, okay? So hide all contour. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. Close it, and then here's your shadow. This is going to be the background of your nameplate. If you're familiar with nameplates, you know on most nameplates there is a background, okay? Now, go to the other um, name that's not um, contoured, contour that one, and now we're gonna click hide all contours. In the first one, you just click this, but we don't want that. No, I'm sorry. In the first one, we hit all contours. In this one, we wanna click the name. Once we click the name, it should look something like this. So now you have the letters and then you have the background, which is a shadow. Click your letters. Now, because we want these little openings, you see these little openings still have something in it. We wanna go back and contour those then again. Let me zoom in. So just so it's a better view for you. You see how the A, the A still have these little um, fillings inside. We don't want that. So we're gonna contour it. Click it, zoom out on the contour um, page, and click inside those little letters, and voila. Okay, so now you have your name and your name plate background. So click your name, let's just change it. Since I'm doing the pink, I'm just gonna change it to a pink. Okay, like a peachy pink. And then for my background, I'm gonna change that to black. All right, so we have our name plate. Just go ahead and put that off to the side and come back to your shadow. For your shadow, um, to make sure you're, since we're using cardstock um, for our nameplate jewelry, of course we're not using gold or any kind of metal or aluminum because you would need a glow forge or some kind of laser cutter to do that. We're using cardstock, okay? So since we're using cardstock, um, we're gonna make sure we are duplicating our shadow, which is gonna be our base for our nameplate. It's the sturdiest part. We're gonna duplicate that, um, let's say, seven times so duplicate it one two three four five six seven i'm gonna zoom out so we have all seven of our images so what i like to do is just drag them off to the corner so they're not all scattered all over my um canvas okay so drag seven of them away and then take this one one of them we want to duplicate again And then we want to, because this is going to be our, the outer part of our background, okay? So we have our base background, and this is going to be the outer parts of our background, okay? So we got that. And I'm going to just click one of them, and I'm going to flip horizontal. And the only reason why I'm flipping horizontal, and you'll see once I cut the images, is because one will be the front part of our base background, and the other part will be the, the back side of our base background, okay? So it's like hand in hand, okay? And I'm also gonna make these a different color because I don't want it to cut um, 
the same color as my base. Your base, you can use a plain white or black cardstock for your base. I like to use black because black is, you can't really see it in the background. And then your official background is gonna be the color. And for our official background, I'm using this pink glitter cardstock. So this pink glitter cardstock will be this, okay? The black regular cardstock will be the black cutouts. The name is going to be in a gold, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just see how it looks on a canvas, making sure it's not too big, looking at my actual canvas, okay? And I may, I may even make it a little smaller. So I'm gonna go back and make those adjustments, cut it out, and then I'll be right back to show you how the pieces look cut out and get it into layering. Be right back, stay tuned. All right, we're back and we were able to go ahead and cut out our layers for our name break bangle. So remember I told you about the outer background? Okay, this is the outer background. It cuts so pretty on the cardstock. That's how what I was talking about. Remember I said one's gonna be your front and one's gonna be your back. Okay, so for, for a nice, pretty clean finish. Um, we have our top layer, which is our actual name and the gold foil paper it came out really pretty. So just to give you an idea of how it's gonna look, laid on top of the gold once we glue it down, okay? And then we have our base, our base background. This is what builds the, the cardstock. We're just gonna layer these on top of each other using the glue stick method. So that's what you need that glue stick for now, okay? So get your glue stick ready. Okay, so look at that. That's how it's gonna look, layered, okay? So get your glue stick ready. And we're gonna just layer the black background on top of each other, one on, one on top of the other. So my glue stick is almost done. Okay, so I'm gonna definitely have to go re-up. And you just gently, not gently, well, you know, however y'all put on glue, you don't wanna rip your paper. Um, just putting the glue all over your plate. And I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna need that weaving tool for. Okay, take a layer and place it on top of the part you already put glue on and voila. Just stick it down with your hands. Make sure it's straight. You can push and pull on it until you have it right where you need. And now that's two together. Now let's go ahead and repeat that same process for the rest of the back, um, the base background layer. And you will have a thick, nice thick base bound red layer when you are done gluing the layers. All right, so that's basically all we're gonna do. Keep gluing and layering. And make sure it's straight. That's really key, make sure it's straight, play with it. So this is where your weeding tool comes in. You see all that glue at the top? I just take my weeding tool and I use it for um, a cleaning to get inside those edges that my fingers can't reach, okay? That's all I use the weeding tool for, you know, you can, Easily just wipe off your weeding tool with the paper towel to get all the excess glue off, okay? All right, so I'm just about gluing my last layer down um, to create my base, my background. And I just wanna show you the width now, okay? How thick um, it is. Okay, that's, so that's how we create the, um, the thickness to our base background, okay? We just make sure we are layering um, about seven to eight pieces of the ba base background and I use black cardstock paper just to create the base. Okay, so now we're gonna get into placing our base nameplate on top of our base background, okay? So you just do the same method, um, glue on your base background, so place the glue on your base background, and then get your glitter background, place it on top. Don't worry, same way you did the, the other steps. You just gluing it, aligning it, make sure it's nice and straight. Take your weeding in tool to clean up any excess glue that the eye can see. And that's basically it. So that's the front. Now, same thing for the back. We don't want this black finish. No, no, no. We want a nice pretty finish. So. We're just gonna place that on the back. So same steps, same, repeat the same steps. Glue. 
your hands will get a little sticky so keep a wet napkin close that's what i do or wet wipe baby wipe whatever you got that's a little moist to keep your hands from getting um sticky okay and glue it down press it don't worry about the glue that you can't reach with your finger because that's what this baby's for it's like a multi-purpose tool <laughs> i use it for a lot of different things um, when it pertains to crafting. Oops. When it pertains to crafting. All right. So now I have my background and my base background all together. And look at the width. Do you see it? Okay. Next, we are going to add our name. Now, so there's so many different methods people use to do their name, but I, I just go with the glue stick method. Um, it works for me throughout this whole project. All right. So same way glue now this is the top background you don't want to be heavy-handed with the glue because you don't want that smudgy finish but don't worry I'm going to show you just checking time all right align it make sure it's lined press down with your palm because our fingers have been touching glue on um, the entire project we don't want our letters to get all you know cloudy so I tend to press down with my palm and here's the nameplate on top. So just take your napkin. If you feel like, you know, it's looking a little gluey, take your napkin and just wipe it down. That's the good thing about the foil paper. It wiping really helps it. So I'm actually gonna add some more glue to the base background. I mean, to the background, cause my end wasn't sticking like the way I wanted to. So I'm just gonna add a little more glue. And if I feel like it's too gluey, I'll just use that wet wipe to wipe it down. Okay, so it's sticking a lot better now. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you know, crafting, it always has a mind of its own. So that is our nameplate. Now, I know some of you are like, how is she going to put that nameplate on top, on that bangle? She just going to have it sticking up like that? No, no, no. So, make sure your hands are clean because you're going to have to touch the nameplate directly on this part. Okay. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to bend it, bend it a little bit without breaking it, gently bend it so it's a curved plate, gently, gently bend it, guys. Don't, don't go just bending that baby, okay? Curve it while you're bending it, shape it, okay? Shape it while you're curving it, shape it. And then it's going to lay on the bangle in a curved pattern, okay? So I'm just going to go in with my tissue and get these handprints off. And that's all, that's what that baby wipe or wet napkin is there for, okay? Just to make sure we're getting those handprints on, okay? So once you bend it, okay? This is where you're gonna need that E6000 glue. Okay, so once you have got it bended, you're just gonna take the E6000 glue and you're going to put a little bit across the back of the plate. Not too much because a lot goes a long way with this E6000 glue. Okay, once you have it, place your bangle along the glue. Don't worry about the extra glue, you can clean it off. Okay, now you see all the extra glue that's smushing out? It's okay, it's okay guys, because that's an easy fix. Worry about aligning that bangle. Okay, worry about making sure it's aligned on the bracelet the way you want it. Push down, gently. Okay, gently just push down and this is what we need the clips for now. Get your clips. Okay, we're gonna withhold and taking the thumb, holding one side, go clip down that end of the A. Okay, because the clips is gonna hold it together for the drying process. Okay, I have my clips on it. I sit this um, to the side for about maybe 30 to 45 minutes. This baby's gonna be dry and you're gonna be able to see the finished results and how we now resin the nameplate because I don't resin before I glue. I glue, then I resin. I mean, resin, resin, whatever, how people say it. That's when I put it on after I glue and dry to get that shiny, hard exterior. We're not done yet. This is just the drying process. Stay tuned because this craft right here, 
Go and put that money in your pocket for the holidays. Be right back. All right, we're back. And I have been allowing my bracelet to dry um, with the clips to keep it secure in place. So I'm gonna remove the clips just to show you how it looks dry. Okay, really cute bangle. That's the back of the bangle, the front of the bangle. Now it's time to apply the UV resin. Let me get this out the way. To the main part of the bangle to give it that shine. It's gonna make it hard. Um, it's gonna make the, being that we use cardstock, the UV resin is gonna make this plate almost indestructible, okay? And it's gonna make it um, way more sturdier, um, the whole bracelet. And what I'm using is my UV lamp. So let me just show you how I apply the UV resin. Now, with this, you wanna be very careful. They tell you to use gloves and be in a well-ventilated area. I don't have any gloves, but I don't really use my hands. I use a brush to kind of push and move the UV resin where I would like it to go. But less is more with UV resin, okay? Just, just being honest. So be careful. Squeeze a little bit across the plate. Kind of let it fall in place. It'll, it'll fall to where it needs. You can just use the paintbrush to help guide um, where you want the UV resin to go. Let me move my camera closer. You can guide um, your with the paintbrush where you want the UV resin to pretty much go on the nameplate. Don't don't paint. Don't use the painting um, technique. Just let the UV resin kind of go where it wants to. Squeeze a little bit more on on any spots you see that's not covered. Once you do that, you should have a fully covered. It's going to drip. Let it drip. You're going to have a fully covered nameplate with the resin. So I just use my paintbrush, like I said, to guide the resin. I see some spots that need a little bit. Go in with your UV resin. And what the resin does, it gives your nameplate a shine. Okay, it gives it a shine. Let it drip, you see it dripping, let it drip. You can take your um, brush and clean off the tops, go along the sides. Okay. And we pretty much got it covered with the UV resin, you see that shine? All right, we're gonna place it inside, put the camera back. We're gonna place it inside our lamp and we're gonna put it 60 seconds for about, I do, let me see. I think I, I put it in about five times um, under 60 seconds. So about five minutes for it to dry. And once it's fully dry, it's hard, um, it's not sticky that's when you know that your bracelet is dry and it's ready. Even after that, I still let my bracelet sit out in a well-ventilated area and I still let it dry for an additional two to three hours before giving it to a customer or before selling, okay? So stay tuned so you can see how beautiful the bracelet came out. All right, back with our final project, okay? Final project, it looks so good. Okay, like I said, this is the perfect gift. Um, of the holidays are coming up. This is the perfect item to sell as well. Everyone can't afford that expensive gold customized jewelry, okay? This is a great option for them, and it's a great money maker for you, okay? Um, all you need, like I said, some kind of cutting machine, some kind of smart device to use the Fonto app, which I'll be providing a video for sooner or later. And this is the same technique to create the nameplate earrings, the nameplate necklaces, and even hairpins, even brooches, okay? Those videos are coming up, okay? If you like this video, and if you like the um, content that I provide to my um, subscribers, be sure to hit that subscribe button, okay, guys? Okay? Like I said, I got gotcha. y'all. I'm the newbie for the newbies, and I hope you enjoy it.